Good morning, you guys. Today is a great day. I am doing my salon soft opening today, also AKA my lounge. Um, yeah, a lot was going on, so I'm going to pray and yeah, you could join me. Father God, we come before you saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for another day. We can never say thank you enough, Lord God. We thank you for the provision that you have made, Lord God. We thank you for um, peace and a sound mind, Lord God. Today we want to pray about discernment. We want to thank you um, in advance for the discernment you have given us in the past as well as in the present and in the, even in the future. A lot of things are about to be happening now, have already started happening for some of us, maybe even most of us, Lord God. We ask that you give us discernment um, in every move that we make, every person we talk to, every conversation that's being held, everything we allow to either seep into our spirits and our hearts and our minds or our souls, Lord God, we ask that um, you give us the discernment to know when to rebuke or cancel um, something that does not sound like you, that does not um, seem like you, that is not um, in the plans according to your will, to the word that you have given us <clears throat> and restored in us, Lord God. Um, we know that if it's anything negative or anything that makes us fearful, it's from the enemy because you have not given us a spirit of fear, but again, of peace mind, and, um, peace and a sound mind. You've also given us power, Lord God, power, power, resurrecting power, Lord God. But continue to give us the discernment to move according to your word, according to your will, Lord God. We ask that nothing um, hinders us, shakes us, Lord God. Even, um, even when we succeed in something, Lord God, let us not... Um, move us. Let us be steadfast and immovable, Lord God. So we just say thank you, thank you um, yet again. Um, and we just stress and we press into the discernment that the Holy Spirit gives us. We press into the discernment that the Holy Spirit has equipped. It's already in us, Lord God. So we press into that. We tap into that. So that way we don't waste our time and squander or um, our pearls to swine is what the scripture says, Lord God. Um, that way we are not wasting time, valuable time, precious time, funds, money, finances, our heart, our blood, sweat, and tears into something, Lord God, that is not of you, that is you will not call us to be in. It is in your precious son, Jesus' name, I pray. Glory to God. Thank you for these words. Amen. Please, if you have not, go ahead and see if the previous post that I have posted is for you. It's not for everyone. See if it's for you because God is releasing is is allowing me and having me to release things that I've been given in dreams, um, as well as my own time with him. Um, if it lines up with what he's already given you, then you know it's confirmation. Do not uh, hold on to or grasp a word that you feel like is just for you, and you because it feels good to you and you want it to be for you. Make sure it is something God already revealed to you. That's why it's confirmation and not revelation. Okay, have a great day.